Hi you ones. Right, now this morning in maths, Sweep has got a little problem for us. Haven't you, Sweep? Okay, go and get it. And here it is. Let's zoom in. Okay, and this is another true or false statement. So, shall we read together? There are six more red bean bags than yellow bean bags. Okay, you know what to do. Pause the video, have a little talk about it, and then when you're ready, press play again. Okay, welcome back. So, we've got yellow bean bags and red bean bags. There are six more red bean bags than yellow bean bags. Okay, if you think that is true, give me the thumbs up. If you think that is false, give the thumbs down. Okay, should we turn over and see the answer to Sweep's problem? So, here we go. And it is false. That wasn't right. Well, there were six more bean bags, but there were six more yellow ones. There are six more yellow bean bags than red bean bags. And it said in the in this one, it said there are six more red bean bags. There's not. There's six less bean bags. I think Sweet was trying to trick us, weren't you, Sweet, with that? Yeah, very sneaky. Almost tricked me actually. So thanks, Sweep. That was a good one to start with. Okay. Right. Let's take that away. And let's have a look at uh, my board. Now, ooh, do we remember this from yesterday? It's our part, part, whole. Now, remember yesterday we practiced um, finding different ways to make different numbers. So let's just have a little uh, look back at that now. So I'm going to write number seven in my in the top in the whole part okay and now I'm going to think of some different ways to make number seven so here we go so I'm number six there do call out if you think you know what I'm going to do and I think I'm gonna have number one there so six add one makes seven okay I think next I'm going to have Five on this side. Ooh, so, we'll call out what you think. I'm going to have two on this side. So, five add two makes seven. Let's try another one. Put those out. Right, this time I'm going to go for a four in this part. And yes, you're right. Oh, use my blue pen though. A three. In this part, so four add three makes seven. Oh, what was that sweep? You think I've missed one out? Oh, do you know which one I've missed out, children? Oh yes, of course. I could have seven and zero. There we go, and that also makes seven. OK, right, so we'll take that away. Now, I'm going to get out my big number line. Here we go. Will it fit in the picture? I don't know if it will. Let's just zoom out a little bit. I think it just about, just about. Let's zoom out a little bit more. There we go. Not, yeah, just about fits in. There we go. So here's my number line. And I would like to introduce you to Space Dog. And sure, you might recognise uh, her from the classroom. And remember, um, a dog went into space before a human being did. So a Russian dog it was, and that was a girl dog. So we've got Space Dog, and she's going to help us with our with our um, our maths right now. So I'm just going to put Space Dog down. Now, here's our number line, and we're going to do some subtraction, some taking away. Do you notice anything... Standing out on the on the number line, do you notice anything? 
Hmm, yeah. One of the numbers is red, isn't it? The number 10. And I've done that for a reason. I always think 10 is a very important number. And it's going to be quite important in what we do in a moment. OK, so Space Dog, are you ready? We're going to have our first number sentence. And here it comes. So we've got 11, take away 3. So let's put that down there. Right, Space Dog, let's spring to action. Right, children, where is Space Dog going to start on the number line? On number 11 or number 3? Yes, he's going to start on 11, isn't he? Always on the biggest number when we're taking away. So, 11 take away 3. So, let's count Space Dog's jumps. So, we don't start counting until Space Dog's made her first jump. 1, 2, 3. And she's landed on number 8. So, 11 take away 3. I can write in... Eight. And there we go. And we've sold our first number sentence. OK, right. Let's try another one. Right, Space Dog, hop back up here. Let's read the next number sentence. It's 15 take away 7. So where's Space Dog going to start? On 15 or on 7? Oh, well done. Yes, she's going to start on 15. Oh, it's a lot of jumps. So we're going to jump back seven, so have to be very careful. Are we ready to count? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She's landed on eight again. So let's write in eight here. And there we go. So we've sold our, our next, our second number sentence. Fifteen take away seven equals eight. Now... It's a lot of jumping there, so we'll give Space Dog a little rest for a moment. Over there, a little bowl of water. Now, are you ready for our next number sentence? Here it is. And it says, 12 take away 4. But you know, do you notice we've got our part, part? And here, I could put a circle around the 4, there's our hole. Now we're going to use that in a moment to help us with this takeaway sum. So I'm going to put it down. Right, where's Space Dog going to start? Yes, number 12. So let's put her on 12, because that's our biggest number. Now, we want to take away four, but first of all, I want to ask you, how many jumps does Space Dog need to make till she gets to number 10? Back to 10. One, two, it's two, isn't it? So, I'm going to write two in my first part bit. Two. Because it's going to take her two jumps to get back to ten. Now, looking at our part part hole, what number could I write in here? What number goes with two to make four? Ooh, well done. Yes, it's another two. So let's write number two in there. So two add two equals four. So let's put that down. So, you ready, Space Dog? She's going to make a big jump now. She want, we want to get to ten first. So off she goes. She's going to make this first jump of two. So, jump of two. And then she's got two more to make. One, two. And she's landed on eight again. So, twelve take away four is eight. Let's try another one. Move Space Dog back. Here's our next one. So, we've got... 15 take away 6. So let's put that down. Let's put Space Dog on 15. Now, this time, how many places does Space Dog need to jump back till she gets to 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let's write 5 here in our first part. Now, what number goes in here to make 6? Yes, it's 1, isn't it? So let's put one there. So, Space Dog now is going to make her first big jump, as it like she's on the moon, to get back to ten. So she can make a big jump of five to get to ten. And then she just needs one more. And she's landed on number nine. So 15 take away six equals nine. Now, I'm going to stop now, but I'm going to do another little video because we're not quite finished. OK, children, 
Right, let's try two more together. Okay, so we'll put Space Dog down and let's look, our, look at our next number sentence to solve. Okay, we've got 14 take away 7. So let's put that down here and let's get Space Dog and she's going to start on number 14. So how many jumps is she going to have to make to get back to 10 first? Because that's what we want to do. We want to get to 10 first. Well, let's have a look. One, two, three, four. She's got four jumps to make. So let's write four here. Now, what number is going to go in here? Four add what makes seven? Well, what about four? five six seven oh it's three more so let's write three in here oh okay. three in here so four add three equals seven so let's put that down and the first jump she's going to make she's going to jump back to ten which is going to be a jump of four so here we go so the big jump of four back to ten and now we just, she just needs to make three more jumps. So here we go. One, two, three. And she's landed on number seven. So 14 take away seven is seven. Well done, Space Dog. And well done, Year Ones. Right, final one. Let's move her back. And oh, it's a big one, this one. So we've got 13 take away eight. 13 take away 8. So let's put that down. And where are we going to put Space Dog? On the 8 or the 13? Yes, of course, the 13, the biggest number. Now, how many jumps does she need to make to get back to 10? Well, 1, 2, 3. So we need to fill in here. 3. Now... What number goes with three to make eight? Ooh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's five. So let's write five in here. Okay, let's pop this down. So the first big jump she's make, going to make, she's going to make a jump of three to get to ten. So here we go. Big jump of three. And now she's got five more to do. One, two, three, four, five. And she's landed on number five. So 13 take away eight is five. Well done, Space Dog. That was super. Very smart. OK, of course, she is smart because she's a, a Space Dog. Now... I'm going to leave a little activity for you to do, um, which you can print out, or you, mum or dad can make you a nice number line and you can practice counting back. Uh, you can make a space dog, you could have something else you could count back with. You could just use a, I don't know, a lid for a pen, whatever you'd like to do. Now, if today you only practice counting back one at a time that's okay just like we did for our our first number sentences um, and perhaps maybe just have a go at one of these with mum or dad where we're first we're jumping back to number 10 first but if you don't get onto this one today that's okay because we're going to try do some more of these tomorrow okay right so um have fun with your maths and um, from me and Sweep, it's bye until tomorrow. OK, bye year ones.